Uh, so at this time, uh, what uh, I am going to do is just uh, declare a mistrial, a case of mistrial, uh, and uh, indicate to you that uh, how much we appreciate the fact that you were here and willing to serve. One thing I'm trying to tell jurors at the beginning of the trial process, all through board dire, uh, is how much we appreciate the fact that they're here and willing to serve. Our system doesn't work uh, without getting people from the community to come in here and listen to the facts of the case and make decisions. Uh, these type of decisions, they're hard decisions. And we very much appreciate the fact that you gave us the time because we've been here a long time. We understand that. Uh, you gave us the time and you put your best effort to uh, see if you can bring a case to resolution. Unfortunately, it wasn't able to happen. Uh, but I want to thank you again for your time and consideration of the case. I also want to advise you of some very special privileges enjoyed by jurors. No juror can ever be required to talk about the discussions that occurred in the jury room except by court order. For many centuries, our society has relied upon juries for consideration of difficult cases. We have recognized for hundreds of years that jury's deliberations, discussions, and vote should remain their private affair as long as they wish it. Therefore, the law gives you a unique privilege not to speak about the jury's work. The lawyers and their representatives are not permitted to initiate any communication with you about the trial. However, you may speak with the lawyers or anyone else about the trial. You also have a right to refuse to speak with anyone. A request may come from those who are simply curious or from those who might seek to find fault with you. Then you know, it will be up to you to decide whether to preserve your privacy as a juror or not. And again, I want to thank you very much for your time and attention. I think it's very much appreciated. You're free to go. Thank you very much.